Edwin and Bethany had an incredible life. The chef and his partner cooked for and hosted billionaires, celebrities, and heads of state in Ibiza. Two years later, they realized something was missing, and they decided to move back to the Netherlands and open a more conscious restaurant. Today, Restaurant One is a jewel in Roman's culinary landscape. The Michelin star kitchen has its own organic garden and grows hundreds of varieties of fruit and vegetables. But the restaurant is also famous for another dish, their ethical foie gras. But I'll let Edwin tell you more about that later in the episode. Climate Story features chefs, entrepreneurs, and creatives at the forefront of sustainability. Take a second to subscribe for weekly episodes from around the world. My name is Rishad Mehta, and this is Climate Story, episode 15. Restaurant One, Romand. Well, here we have some fennel. We have more beets. We have, jeez, uh, I don't even know in English. You know what this is in English? No. I'm uh, Edwin Salmang, owner and chef of uh, Restaurant One, located in the city called Romand. Eight years ago, we started with our own garden, and we thought it was a cool idea to grow our own. Produce, uh, but it wasn't until the third year where the produce came. Now we got to make sure that everything we harvest comes on the plate. That moment is for us where the real sustainable story started. We thought, okay, we we got to look different at this, and we got to move in a direction where we just use as much as we can. So yeah, that's where our story started. I guess the beginning of the garden is the beginning of our our story. We're gonna make our uh, gnocchi dish. We start off with uh, the puree, which we uh, flavored with a little bit of the wild garlic. Put on a few cubes of uh, crunchy potato. Then we have our uh, gnocchis made from uh, the herbs, which are really uh, really light. And then we put on the courgette balls um, and we scoop them out. Put them on top of the gnocchis, the courgettes we just picked. Eh? Uh, then we put our sauce from the fermented uh, celery, and then we stick some herbs very nicely in the uh, balls of the courgette, and then we finish it off with the oil of wild garlic. <laughs> If you look at the eight-course tasting menu, the philosophy is very basic. We want to serve everything that comes from our garden. And add some local produce to it. From day one, like 15 years ago, we were working a farm. They actually have their own cows and they produce milk and butter. And like since a, a year now, we're making our own sourdough bread. And the flour we actually get, they still grind it on a water mill. The the menu we're serving at this moment starts with a dish with the yin yang. Beans from our garden, and then we have a kingfish farmed in Holland, and we use the the bones to make our own dashi. The next dish is the tomatoes from our garden. We have like seven or eight varieties, clear uh, tomato broth, a really tasty dish. Then we're serving the main course right now, summer venison, uh, which we serve with all garnishes from the garden. We have plums. We have the yin yang beans, we have the long beans, we have the beet roots, all from the garden. Then we go to the foie royal, the friendly farmed foie, and served with a little brioche toast we make ourselves, and then uh, a beet and fig compote. People, they, if we don't have it, like some guests will get upset because they love this dish. With a high pressure technique, they create something that. Looks and tastes like foie. The foie royal is actually not uh, uh, forced fed. Uh, and then we move to the dessert. We have the first dessert is a dish with strawberries, raspberries, uh, again from the garden. And then the last dish uh, is the cherry dish. Uh, cherries from the local vegetable supplier, which he grows himself behind the store, and then we serve it with a sorbet of uh, the fig leaves. We have the fig trees, and we use the leaves. Cream, it, it, it's amazing. We 
and we're always looking for new ideas. How can we move forward? Like the whole sustainable story, it's, it's not something, oh, I do this and, and that's it, you know. It, it keeps going and there will be new techniques, new ideas coming, which we can work with, we can grow with, like uh, that's a never ending story. And there's still so much possible even within our restaurant. This is our climate story. Great job, thank you so much. You're welcome. Perfect, love, love that, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>